Welcome. Yes, Thor Dykow here. It's this week on Blu-ray and DVD, and we lead things off with Robert Redford in a nearly wordless movie. Yes, we're talking, of course, about All is Lost. This stars one man, Robert Redford, and he is lost at sea on a boat. The script was about 31 pages long because there's virtually no dialogue. Most movies are about 100 pages. Check it out. It's J.C. Chender's second movie. SOS call over. This is Virginia Jean with an SOS call over. Yeah, that's uh, just some of the uh, few lines of dialogue that are in the film. It is uh, pretty engrossing, though, when you watch it because you're uh, at every minute wondering how uh, Redford's going to get out of this situation, and uh, he faces all manner of perils when it comes to uh, life on the open sea. And uh, the veteran actor proves he's still a formidable force in the acting world. I thought he uh, was really uh, due for more nominations and uh, acting uh, accolades for this one, but uh, he was left off the Oscar list. So was the movie itself, but I thought it was one of the hidden gems of 2013. So check out all his lost a rare gem of a film. They don't make them like this anymore. And Redford proves that he can carry the movie on his capable shoulders the whole way through. How will it end? Will he survive? You'll have to check it out. All is lost out now. Next, we're talking about the art of the steel. And this stars Kurt Russell as a uh, former thief who gets back into the con game for one last job. Take a look. The most valuable book in the world. The Gutenberg Bible. The Mona Lisa books. This is so beautiful. Here's where we come in. We swapped out for a fake. No one's gonna know it's missing. Gonna make a bundle. Try 20 million. History. Great men don't take dives for a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. Awesome bucks. cast in this one with uh, Ray Winstone and Jay Baruchel as well, uh, Matt Dillon. And uh, basically these guys play brothers, um, Russell and Dillon, and they try and pull off this scheme, but things start to get risky uh, when the plan falls apart and then their different agendas sort of throw a wrench into things. Good cast in this one, uh, great action, some funny lines. Uh, and it just kind of keeps things moving. It's a great little caper for you. So The Art of the Steel, you can check that out now. Interesting cast the characters. Whoa, sorry there. Just off camera for a sec. Okay, next we're going to be talking about this little film called Yes, The Inevitable, de Inevitable Defeat of Mr. and Pete. Very interesting film with a great cast and uh, it centers around two young boys in the summer in Brooklyn so and the uh, their mom, well, well the, one of the background. boys' mom, his mom, uh, job, his name is Mr. and his mom, uh, no played by else. Jennifer Hudson, gets taken away them. by the police they and so he has to team up with this other boy. There he is there, Pete, and they have to basically fend for themselves for a couple of months over the summer. They have to try and find ways to get food and evade uh, social security who are trying to break down the door and, uh, you know, take him off to a foster home. Very interesting film full of great performances. And these two uh, uh, kids are just breakout stars, Skylin Brooks and uh, Ethan Dizon. So uh, some good music in this one, too, from Alicia Keys, who uh, serves as executive producer, producer of the film. Jeffrey Wright, Anthony Mackie, Jennifer Hudson, Jordan Sparks even. Uh, yeah, very good film. And these two kids are formidable young actors. Actors. So check this one out. You may not have heard of the inevitable defeat of Mr. and Pete, but it is a winner. Great ensemble cast and just a great screenplay as well with a story that will keep you pulled in. All right, next we're going to switch gears and talk horror. Yes, the Banshee chapter. This is an interesting film too. Along the um, same vein as um, the Blair Witch Project and uh, Paranormal Activity, I'm talking about the found footage style. And this centers around uh, a journalist who uncovers some secret about the U.S. government possibly drugging people and studying the effects of what that does to them. So her friend goes missing and she gets pulled into this mystery uh, about where he is. And she teams up with this reclusive novelist played by Ted Levine, who you may remember from Silence of the Lambs. He played Buffalo Bill. Yes, and Ted Levine is wacky in this movie. He plays sort of a, a Hunter S. Thompson type character. These movies aren't always for me with the found footage, but this one does have some genuine thrills and shocks in it. So if you like those kind of uh, horror or, uh, ones with the uh, found footage shaky cam style with that gripping realism banshee chapter might be right up your alley Next, we're talking about a documentary, and this is quite fascinating, Spinning Plates. And this follows three different restaurants and sort of examines uh, the characters involved with them and the wonderful culinary cuisines that they turn out. Check it out. The business can on slow. I'm losing my house because I get behind in my payments. Food has become the resource to survival for us. The great irony, the chef with tongue cancer. There's a 60% chance that you're gonna die. If I can't taste, I don't even wanna be here. 
No one needs to eat out. Yeah, this is very cool. So it follows uh, Alinea, which is uh, a Chicago restaurant considered one of the best in the world. Um, a 150-year-old family restaurant in Iowa with an unbreakable bond and a community that really rallies behind it in the face of tragedy. And a Mexican restaurant with a fledgling owner uh, whose uh, immigration sort of poses a risk to um, providing a better life for their his young daughter. And it just follows the three of these restaurants in a very wonderful fashion. And it's got some really compelling stories behind the scenes of what goes on in these restaurants with these characters and uh, just some beautiful food footage as well. It'll make you so hungry and uh, very passionate about the uh, the stuff that they they put out. And I like that all three restaurants have their own sort of different spin on what they do and what food means to them. Uh, very good documentary and I didn't even hear of it till uh, recently. So check out Spinning Plates. Wonderful little documentary about all things food. Finally, we saved the best for last, guys. The greatest show on television returns Game of Thrones before season Season four comes out in April. You want to get all caught up with season three on Blu-ray, and it looks stunning in HD. My goodness, loaded with exclusive bonus content as well, comprehensive guides, illustrated histories, and an in-depth look at the famed Red Wedding episode, which was the most talked about of the season and possibly of any show in recent memory. Uh, so in season three, the uh, battling families of the Seven Kingdoms continue to fight for power as bonds are strained, loyalties are tested and cruel fates, and I do mean cruel, are met. I'm not going to give anything away in case you um, need to catch up, but man, I got through season three on Blu-ray in about a week. It looks amazing, and it's great watching them back to back like that. Plus, you get the beautiful box set uh, packaging courtesy of HBO. They're doing it right. Can't wait for season four. Check that out when it comes out in April, but get up to speed with season three right now on Blu-ray and DVD. Oh, yes, winter is definitely coming. That's it, people. I'm Thor Dykow. Check me out on Twitter, at Thor Dykow. Let me know what you thought of these titles. We'll see you next week on BT Vancouver.ca.